If you're someone who's struggling with fat shots, thin shots, topping, shanking, and everything in between, there's a good chance you are not creating the magic angle as the golf club approaches the ball. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you what that is and how it can help you with your ball striking. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks for tuning in. Kerry Gray here at Junalup Resort. Before we get stuck in, please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss out on any of the great content coming your way. Alrighty, let's talk about the magic angle. The magic angle, it is when the golf club comes down towards approaching the golf ball and when the hands are in front of the right leg. So let's talk about this from the address position. As we make our backswing, what we would like to see is our body stay relatively centered. We would like to create some wrist hinge or some leverage between where this forearm and the club shaft is. And then as the golf club is coming back down towards the ball and we start shifting our weight towards the target, by this stage of the downswing, what we see with the best players in the world is the hands would be relatively in front of the right leg. Then this angle would be then transported into the golf ball leading to shaft lean. And that's gonna give you compression distance and that really solid contact that you're probably looking for. So what do we generally see with most recreational golfers? Well, this angle that we were just talking about when the golf club is in the parallel position on the way to the golf ball, we would generally see this back here. So what we can see is this angle is a lot more obtuse and it's not creating this nice acute angle that we can see in front of our body here. And what that means is by the time that the golf club catches up to the ball, we would generally tend to see a lot of scooping. So why does this happen? Why do players tend to cast the golf club as it's commonly referred to? Well, one of the big reasons is simply that the club face is generally open throughout the motion. Now, why do we cast if the club face is open? Well, if my club face in this position here, so we're gonna use this as a representation, this would be considered open, this would be considered square. Now, if the club face is open, so if this is 90 degrees, and the club face is turned further to the right for that, for the right-hander. What happens if I swing down and I create this angle in front of my leg, by the time I reach the golf ball, that club face is pointing way out to right field for the right-hander, and I'm gonna struggle with a lot of blocks and slices. So what happens, number one, is we need to ensure that the club face is getting into a position where the club face is slightly turned down to the ground. Now, when we do this, I can feel that my right wrist gets a little bit on top and my lead wrist or my left wrist for the right-hander starts to bow down towards the ground. Now, as I then bring this angle down into play, well, I can see that the club face is presenting itself a lot more on line with the target and that's gonna help us get this shaft lean that we're looking for. But what if your club face is in position and you're still losing this angle? Well, this is simply a movement that you must rehearse, you must practice, and you must educate your body on how to get into that position. So let's talk about some of the feelings that you could get to create this angle that we're looking for. If I set up to this golf ball here and I swing to the top, let's talk about some of the differences. Number one, the height of the hands. By this stage of the swing, we can see that my hands would tend to be about in line with my belly button. Now, if I was in the position that we're looking for, you can see that my hands are a lot lower. We can also see that my right arm, instead of being behind my body, it's in front of my body. Instead of it being flexed, it is beginning to straighten. So we've got lower hands. Our hands are in front of our body and my arm is straighter. So if we wanna work on this feeling, simply by getting to the top of your golf swing, assuming the club face is in position, I want you to feel that as you shift your weight onto your lead side, you can see I'm getting a bit of a pumping action, my hands are getting as low as they possibly can. Now, as I do that, I don't wanna be throwing this angle away. I'm gonna hit the ground a meter behind. And for those of you who tend to cast the golf club already, you are really gonna feel like you're gonna hit well behind the golf ball. This is just a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling that you're just gonna to have to work through. Now, if I get to the top and I bring those hands as low as I can, now, one thing that you'll notice is the back of my wrist, so the right wrist for the right-hander, is still bent. The feeling, would be that if you were painting a wall, let's say you had a paintbrush and there was a wall, you had a nice lick of paint on the end of that brush, you would wanna move your wrist across that wall, painting that wall without flicking the paint anywhere. And that is the same sensation you need that right wrist having as it approaches the golf ball. So we're gonna to swing to the top. 
We're going to get those hands nice and low. That right wrist is going to stay bent back and then we're going to swing through. Now it's going to feel like you're going to hit a punch shot and that's fine. We are exaggerating here. So whenever you make these little adjustments, if you're someone who's throwing and fishing from back here, well then of course this is going to feel wildly different. But if you're struggling with your ball striking and you are frustrated, look, you've got to do something different to get a different result. And this could be exactly that. So we're going to swing to the top. Our cue for the downswing is going to be to get the hands low and the right wrist for the right hand are bent back or simply just your back hand, making sure it's in this cut position like this. So we're going to swing to the top, hands low, as low to the ground as we can, right wrist bent back, swing through from there. Now, turning this into a drill, what we're going to do is we're going to set up. I've got a nine iron here. Take your normal posture. I'm going to swing to the top. I'm feeling pretty comfortable here. I'm going to bring those hands as low as I can and my right wrist is bent back. Notice that my club face is slightly turned down to the ground. That would be a good spot. Have a little pump and then swing through. Now, that felt incredible. I felt like I compressed the golf ball. My handle was in front at the moment of impact and I squeezed the ball between the club face and the turf and the ball shot off with a lot of speed, just like you see with the pros. So let's do that again. We're setting up to the golf ball. We're going to swing to the top. We're going to get the hands low. We're going to get the right wrist bent back, have a little pump. Once again, beautiful. Now what you also notice, do this drill enough, we might get a little bit of draw bias. And for those of you who tend to lose this angle way back here, so we're not creating that magic angle that we're looking for, there's a good chance that you are a slicer of a golf ball. You're hitting it thin, you're not getting much of a divot. So this magic angle, this is going to give you all the benefits you're looking for, just like you see on TV. Strong contact, nice compression, good divot after the golf ball. Ball striking 101, if you can create this angle as the golf club's approaching the ball, you are going to be far better off and you're going to hit much crisper, longer, straighter iron shots. So if ball striking is your main concern, what I want you to do, just do a whole bunch of slow rehearsals, doing this exercise in front of a mirror so you can see yourself swing to the top, slowly swing down, get the sensation that as you're starting your downswing with your lower body, your hands are getting as low as you can, your right wrist for the right hand is bending back and then simply swing through Yes, I know it's going to feel uncomfortable. You are going to feel like you're going to hit well behind the golf ball. It just means that you need to do more repetitions. You need to practice this. What I would recommend is you do dry drills to start off. Don't go in there and just start swinging wildly at the golf ball. Start off slow in front of a mirror at home. Once you build up some comfort, go down to the range. Don't worry so much about the outcome. Focus a little bit more on the process. Go through this motion and I'm sure you'll hit some much better shots as a result. Be patient, this one's really, really gonna help if you're struggling with your ball striking. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell once again. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray, thanks for watching.